destroying a bunch of homes in this neighborhood. But the majority of the houses we'll see up here are actually survivors of the hurricane. And this big white boat over here on our right, that's a shrimp boat. My family were commercial shrimpers. We had a boat just like that. Now we don't catch a shrimp here, this is fresh water. You have to make a commute down the river to brackish water. But it's not a bad commute. That boat is rigged out to use skimmer nets and my moon nets. Uh, my family we use bottom troughs, like Forrest Gump. Mm. Now here this house was destroyed. The shed survived, the house did not. Oh, uh, I see. It's not yeah, crooked. Look at it. It's not post. crooked. It's You're drunk. It's a big fish hanging. That's an alligator gar. Uh, they caught it uh, on one of the other branches of the river uh, yesterday or today. Uh, they can get much larger than that. They can get up I to eight tourists. feet, they 300 pounds. Oh, wow. That's a gar fish. Oh, it's oh, right. it's like an alligator gar. I mean, an alligator space. Yep. Right there, that one that's on the pole. You see it? It looks like a. It looks fake. Wait, wait, uh, they live in these waters? Yeah. Garfish. Garfish. Alligator gar. Yep. It's like a hybrid alligator fish. No, it's just a fish. Very, very small fish. Way down low in the evolutionary ladder. That's fish and other fish evolved. And the locals, the locals. <laughs> Oh no, okay. <laughs> this family here, commercial crab fishermen. You look in his yard, you can see a few crab traps. In order for him to make a living at crabbing like this, he has to run over 500 traps a day. Some people run up to a thousand traps a day. He's running over 700. Fishing for blue crabs. I don't catch the shrimp, the crabs, and the oysters up here. He's got to make a commute down river to brackish water. But it's not a bad commute. What? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Have you seen another one right there? Oh, 